just about to hit 20. I'm 19. I'm just over 19 now, so yeah. I'm into my 20th year, but I haven't hit 20 years. I think I was there when you actually started, at least within the first year. Probably two years. I think I was only in HFS for the first two years. It was a small, very small foam sport in Texas before moving to a, a bigger national one. All right, we've got Laura in the green, and we've got Ace Eden Duncan in the middle. Uh, speaking of foam, Ace, a big foam fighter. Um, only six months in the sport as far as steel goes, but uh, very experienced uh, on the yeah. foam side. So I, think. I think their first thing was ACS Nationals in October, so maybe, maybe slightly over six months. Yep. I think, uh, I think she's done foam for about eight years, though. Yeah, I remember seeing them around for quite some time, so seems possible. Those shots were interesting. They went mid, they struck, they made no sound. Was I was wondering about that myself. Ace doing a good job of putting in some good power there. Maybe a little more power than she needs. Um, not that that's illegal, it's just not very efficient. Uh, right, it's one of those things that you may see later later oh, in the day that may cost her. Yeah, But certainly right now it is working. She's just stepping in and just laying the smack down on those presses. Both fighters sort of standing up. Which honestly, Ace is in the lead. I don't blame her for standing off at this point. Yep. Ace with a real good press to end it. Yeah. Laura doing a good job in those exchanges of always getting some back, but it felt like Ace, uh, as far as level uh, wise, always getting a few more in each exchange, right? Yeah, and you know she was hitting hard enough that you you saw some of those shots physically rocking Laura's head to the side. And while they don't necessarily hurt, they break your sight picture and they force you to get your bearings before you can return. Uh, so, you know, very useful in that sense. Also, I think the helmet that um, Laura is wearing is uh, just probably much lighter than her normal helmet. Yeah, that's, it's my profite helmet. Uh, and I got it specifically to be extremely light. Yeah, so, which I, might contribute to some of the, the head rocking going on. Yeah. So I think that helmet's about 10 pounds, whereas, you know, my melee helmet is 14 pounds. Yeah. My old melee pe helmet was 16 pounds. Yeah, and I think my melee helmet's 14-ish, something like that. We've got Julie in the blue and Ace Eden Duncan in the red. Both fighters coming out strong. Ace liking that close push with those strong strikes, and Julie having none of it. Yep. Julie really trying to force forward, but I don't actually know that it is coming out in her favor right now. Julie getting two headshots for two leg shots. Not a good turn. Um, we'll see what happens. If she wears Ace out, this could be a really good plan. But That's true. right now, she is behind in points in my opinion. Yes, I think Ace is, is winning. Julie's yeah, starting to pick up more headshots, though. Yep. But Ace comes back with that and another one to Julie's leg. And this is where, if Julie can start. Pulling ahead, and this is it's coming decisively out ahead in the last 10 seconds at least. She needs to do that again. Though. She needs to push hard if she wants to. Uh, but now she's just trading, trading she can't do. There she gets back up a, a couple. Keeps swinging hard. She needs to attack right there when Ace drops. Ace with a hand. With a hand. Julie's shot to the head. Another, head Another shot. Hand Maybe exchange. Shot to the head again at the end, Julie. Oh, man, that's tough. Julie decisively losing the first half, but then consistently picking up head snipes. Yeah. 
You know, I think it was too little too late. I'm going to say Julie pulled it out, just to take the opposite right. position. I'm going to say Ooh, that the close. prevalence of headshots coming out of it, along with the fact that a lot of the early points were to hands. I don't know. I thought early on when Julie was pressing, almost on every press, she was she was getting a shot to the head as she walked in. Yeah, and she did um, eat two headshots for two leg shots earlier. But again, net, that's just two points, right? It's one headshot. Yeah. Yep. It's tough. I won't be surprised to see this go either way. I won't be surprised to see him call it a tie. I just, oh, I think Ace did more in the beginning than Julie was able to do in the end. If that was a, we'll see. And they, Julie, Julie, Julie got it. It was a fantastic fight. And again, not at all surprised. Um, <clears throat> we talked about it early on. Julie was losing those exchanges but you know like that sort of pressure and knowing that she's the more experienced fighter um and i wasn't counting the match but i am surprised by that outcome uh so at this point i'm going to point something out the fighters aren't responsible for the outcome um i'm not saying anything about the fighters i believe the fighters both did a fantastic job that is not how I would have scored it, but I was also not there with the clicker. So there it is. Congratulations to both of them. Good job, Spencer. Good job, Andrew. All right. We have here Ace versus Dana. Uh, interested to see how this goes. Ace has really been banging well up close. Um, but Dana has as well. That's also Dana's strong suit. Yes. I think Dana just popped a ribbit on the gauntlet. So, armor failure. Here's the uh, her glove. Uh, Came loose or something. Yeah, the, the retention strap popped. Maybe uh, it looks like. Yeah, so often your 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 glove is is sewn to the tip of your gauntlet so that when you close your hand, it pulls the tip of your gauntlet uh, shut. It looks like the thread that that holds them together broke, so they're taping over it. Both fighters throwing lots of shots in the clinch. Both of them pursuing and unwilling to give space. And then they... Ace doing a really good job of holding her own here. I think she may be blocking a little too much with her hands. Um, but she's also coming in under Dana's guard sometimes and picking up points to the torso, which is solid. Yep. Oh, nice strike to the head there. Yep. Nice. And Ace pushes. I think Ace is slightly ahead, if only because the, they're scoring more head strikes, but... Uh, I, and I'm going the other way. I think Dana is ahead, but I think Ace is not far. Now I think Dana's ahead. Now I would agree with you. Oh, nice return by Ace there, though. Well, I feel like I know where this went, but given my same assumption with that last match, I could be entirely wrong. Yeah. Maybe Larry won. <laughs> you know, uh, I do think it was a close fight, but I, uh, I think Dana pulled it out in the end. Yeah, I, I think it was a close fight until the last 30 seconds, and then I think Dana kind of conclusively pulled ahead. But it could have gone the other way, maybe. And next up, we have Christine versus Julie. But you know, we've seen so many excellent matches this weekend. Um, Again, for the bronze medal. Ace, Ace. yeah, go ahead. 
Ace coming in hard, but Christine actually winning that engagement, I think. Yeah. Oh, but now Ace is starting to pull back uh, into the lead. Yeah, Ace coming right off the bat with a big shot to the head, but kind of lost her weapon, allowed Christine to rack up some points before she could regain control. But uh, I think she may have made up all those points plus a few in that last little exchange. Yeah, now both fighters are being pretty cautious. I'm wondering if they both feel like they're up in points. Ooh, Ace losing their weapon again, but I think it just resulted in a draw in points. And I think what we're seeing here is what we've been seeing from Christine all day. She's prioritizing those arms and legs, uh, and her opponent is prioritizing headshots. This is a very tight round, though. Um, it is kind of difficult to tell who's, who's winning this one. And I think that was a fantastic example. Christine stepped in, shot the arm, and Ace just chopped the head. That last exchange was a bit of a mess. I had no idea. Yep. You know, I don't know, I don't know that I know who, who won that one. I think Ace, just because there are more headshots. Otherwise, I think Christine landed possibly more shots, but they were all limbs. Uh, but it wouldn't confuse me if it went the other way. We're definitely seeing fatigue here. Um, we're definitely seeing you know these, these fighters being very tired. Yeah, uh, no doubt. And I think um, you know you see that a lot when later in the round you see people just trading, um, and that's fighters who feel they don't have the energy to block or to throw a shot then pull their sword back quick enough to catch a block so they start thinking I'll strike again to make up for it and you get this exchange but Ace does pull it out Ace is your bronze medalist uh, in women's longsword yeah and it's not just the physical exhaustion of can you pull your sword back but often it's the mental exhaustion of can you make yourself think far enough ahead to do more than one thing at a time yeah uh, I know sometimes I get real late in a tournament and I just get tunnel vision. I'm like, well, if I can only do one thing, I'm going to hit him. 